So Princess Peach helps Super Mario out with some math because she's tired of seeing him die. He keeps falling in that hole, and whenever he jumps over it, those spikes above kill him. So the equation she gave him for the line he's running on is y equals x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1. And if you don't believe me that this is the equation of the line above, stick around, you'll see. So Mario is not the greatest at math, but he does the right thing in the beginning by factoring the numerator, giving him factors x minus 1 and x plus 1. He then realizes, you know what, there is both an x minus 1 factor on the top and bottom, and so when he cancels them out, y simply becomes x plus 1. Now, the problem is that with y equals x plus 1, Mario is a little bit confused because he tells himself, I don't get it. Y equals x plus 1 should be continuous, but I keep falling in the hole. Mamma mia! Looking at the equation, though, there's a problem, right? See, with the original equation for y, we had a bit of information because we had a denominator, and we can see that you can't plug in 1 here because if you divide by 0, that's not allowed. And the problem that some of us also make is that when Mario simplified the equation of y equals x plus 1, he lost that bit of information. And for another good example of this that's a bit controversial, feel free to check out the video above. But moving on, what Mario needs to do here is restrict his domain. He needs to say that, you know what, I've got y equals x plus 1, but we know now that x cannot be 1. And so Peach is realizing that, hey, he's starting to learn some more about math, and she tells him, Oh, you got it! But now I need you to patch that hole with this magic brick! Princess Peach gives Mario this magic brick, and it's up to him to decide, first of all, can he remove the discontinuity in the line he's running on? And secondly, where would he need to put this to be able to do that? So when we talk about removable discontinuity, we're talking about a few things. We're basically saying, given a graph, if you have discontinuity at a point, can you basically patch it up or define a value there? So that way the resulting graph becomes continuous. Now, in the case of jump discontinuity, say instead Said Mario had to jump over this ledge here. The problem is that, as you can see, between the gaps at the top and bottom, we can't just place a single block in one spot because if we did, we would still have jump discontinuity because Mario would have to jump somewhere to get to the very top, right? Boom! Now, in this case, in order to patch up the discontinuity, you'd have to put a line there, but we're not talking about that. We want to remove the discontinuity by filling in a single point. And the problem is no better with the vine on the very right-hand side. Because say that vine went to the sky, basically to infinity. It's the same idea. You can't just place a brick in one spot to be able to solve the issue with discontinuity. But luckily for Mario, in this particular level, we have only point discontinuity as shown here. Because for the graph, where after simplifying, we have y equals x plus 1, it looks like your typical line, except this line happens to have a hole at the point 1, 2. Because if you remember, x cannot be 1. So now Mario needs to make a decision here. Can I place a brick at the hole? And does it really matter where I place the brick? The first thing he needs to look at is whether we have a limit defined at x equals 1 for the function y. And if you remember, such in this other video you can see above if you need more information on this, remember that when you approach x equals 1 from the left and from the right, they need to be the same exact value for y. It needs to be something that is defined and the same value. So if you look at this graph by inspection, you can tell very easily that if I approach x equals 1 from the left or the right, the line basically approaches the value for y as y equals 2. So that means the limit as x approaches 1 of the function equals 2. And so the last question to solve this problem is Mario needs to figure out, okay, at x equals 1, I have a hole. Where should I place this brick? So in other words, how do I remove the discontinuity? And the answer is, whatever the limit equals, which in our case is 2, is exactly where he needs to put it. Because if he puts it above this hole, say at 1, 3, you would have jump discontinuity and he would come to his death because of the spikes above. So what does that mean mathematically for our final answer? Do we need to make this function a piecewise function? Well, no, we don't because it's pretty straightforward here, right? All you need to do for your answer is say, okay, it's y equals x plus 1, or you can use the original equation, which is fine. But the caveat here now is instead of having the disclaimer that x can't be 1, because we are now plugging in the hole that magic brick at x equals 1 having a value of 2, so in other words, because now the point 1, 2 is defined as part of the domain, we can just simply say our answer is the line y equals x plus 1. 